Hey guys, John Eric here at Gorilla Pro Customs. This is our latest, greatest invention. This holds 60 one tenth ounce gold coins. We're gonna do a magnetic lid. Boom, right here. Here's how we do it. Where's all the extra magnets? Oh, here they are. I'm at my buddy Steve's house. We did his vents, show him the vents. And we're doing his, uh, his switch plates right now as well. I kind of made him buy them because of when we had a party, what, three weeks ago? Yeah. I came and installed a bunch of switch plates, like maybe eight. And then he had like 150 more, you know, regular ones, which are no good now. So check this out. This is our first brick of this kind. So my goal is to not screw it up because if you screw up one magnet, it's a wrap. Throw the whole thing away. There is no salvaging it. Can you see what I'm doing, Charlie? Uh -huh. Perfect. I'm putting the magnets on. Boom, here we go. It's very important you all get all these going in the same direction. Mess this up by half a millimeter, it's a wrap. The whole thing's trash. There we go. This is going nice and smooth. This is much bigger than the usual ones we do with magnets. Uh-oh. I'm hoping this works with these little bitty magnets. Should be fine. We're gonna find out in a minute. So you guys get to experience this with me firsthand. So, gotta make sure the pattern lines up the right way. So it goes this way. So we'll start out with just a little bit of pressure. Don't want to go too far in the beginning, otherwise you can uh, get it all sideways. Steve is making, what are you making, Steve? Pumpkin pancakes. Pumpkin pancakes. My wife is in love with his pumpkin pancakes. I like them, but I don't cry if I don't get them. See that liquid coming out here? Yeah. When I press that now, what could that be? Oil. Oil, I cleaned it all off. It doesn't matter. It's it ran like, down here, I bet. Yeah. You can really jack the paint up doing this too, so don't do that. <clears throat> well, that's nice. Now I'll take some extra magnets. We'll use these to countersink all of them real quick. Hey, how many friends come over to your house and set up a vice on the kitchen counter and just like start working? Steve, you ever had that happen before? No, you're the first. I'm the first. I love being the first. Okay. A little bit more. Now, what kind of friend would tolerate? That's true. That's you true. setting up. Also, that's why I'm a good friend. And this is a really expensive countertop. It's a good thing I got rubber on the bottom. I know you're good for it. Yeah, my goal is to not jack up. Uh oh. Damn it. Look what I did down here. Zoom in down there. Yep. 